hello this is manikan today i'm going to show you how to do an android app without using any coding just follow the steps go to google chrome and in the address bar type mit app inventor 2 here you can see sign in google accounts with a 2appinventoremitedu click on it as as inventory is a cloud based tool of google you need to sign in with your google account This is the app inventor page here you can see start new project click on it and give the project name then you will be directed to the design page here you can see the palette of user interface which consists of different components this is the viewer page and this is the components area these are the properties that to be modified or simply say the area where you can modify your components you can add about screen text here and you can align to horizontal and vertical you can also edit the app name here and here you can change the background color and you can also add the background image here where you can upload an image file from your system and here is the close screen animation you can set it to fade zoom horizontal and vertical and you can also add the icon in the format of image here and it is the open screen animation you can set it to fade zoom horizontal and vertical and you can set the skin orientation to portrait landscape sensor and user defined you can also add the scroll bar here by clicking the tick mark and and you can also give the sizing to the fixed and responsive you can also add the title here screen one i'm adding as my first app it will be automatically saved here you can see the text my first app as a title and here you can also give the version code and version name as, as is user defined and coming to palette of user interface it consists of different components and the components are of button text box list view date picker and so on if you don't know anything in it you can check it by clicking on question mark here the text will appear will appear here you can understand what the component actually says and here is the layout you can add a table arrangement and vertical and also horizontal arrangement where the arrangements are done through using this layout and here is the media components like player sound text to speech which is an invisible component it is used to speak a message that user requested and here are the video player camcorder camera and speech recognizer and also image picker and sound recorder and also here you can see the drawing and animation components like canvas image sprite and ball and here you can see the sensors like clock barcode scanner location sensor and orientation sensor and so on where all these run according to your device and here you can see the social components like image picker texting phone number picker and phone call you can also add the sharing and also twitter and contact pic and app inventor provides you the storage like a file a tiny web database and a tiny database and also fusion tables control where i will be discussing about these further just have a glance on it and welcoming to connectivity these are the non visible components and we will know deep about it further 
let's do a small example so that you can clearly understand that when you click a button an X screen should be opened with a default message go to user interface and here you can see the button just drag and drop to the viewer and here you can set the properties of the button you can change the background color to as you want and here you can change the font size to 16 and it is dependent on you and you here you can put the font size to sans serif serif and monospace and you can set the height to as you want to fill parent here like this you will get and you can put it to automatic you can change the width to fill parent you will get the total screen like this and you can also add the image here and you can give the shape of the button to rounder rectangular and oval and here you can edit the text for the button enter and uh, see the change has been made and here you can change the text alignment to right here you can see the right of the button and you can change the background color to none so you can see here which is mixed in the screen but in order to understand it is button you can put it to gray so the or else you can put it to pink yes now you can understand that it is a button and our aim is to when you click the button the next screen should be opened so add the next screen here you can see the add screen click on it and here you can edit the screen name just put it as screen 2 and ok and the next screen will be opened as screen 1 properties to have here like about screen and so on here let's add an image background image click on background image and upload file choose the file from your computer desktop and upload a file click on ok the uploading is being done yes it is uploaded here you can see the image that is up uploaded and I am setting the open screen animation to slide horizontal and the close screen or animation to vertical so that when the screen has been opened with an animation uh, slide horizontal and uh, when the screen has been closed it will be closed with slide vertical and the screen orientation can be set to as user defined and here you can observe the media that has been uploaded to your app appinventor.jpg which is I uploaded to the app screen too. and here let's add a label just drag and drop to here and you can make it the height to full parent and the width to full parent and you can give the text here hi this is tutorial and you can set it to center and to better understand and can change the font size to 20 yeah now you can see hi this is include help tutorial Yes, where you can see the hierarchy of the components added and our aim is that when you click the button 
the next screen should be open so the button is present at screen one so just go to screen one when you click the button the screen should be open for to do to the activity you need to set the blocks here you can find the blocks go and click on it and when this go to screen when the screen oh before that our aim is when you press the button the control should be go to next screen so go to button and when the button is press button one click do the control should be go to the next screen and just open another screen drag and drop to here and it just it will be adjusted here next screen the screen name is screen 2 so add the text here screen 2 yes the actions to be performed are designed here if you done anything wrong yet you will be notified with the warnings and errors which is these are control and here you can find different kinds of blocks to be set and this is the logic control blocks this is the math and so on all these will be discussed later so that we have done so we have designed this and set the blocks go to designer again and it will be automatically said if not go to projects and click on save project the project will be said and you can view the output through AI companion which you need to download an app in your Android phone and it is an emulator which you need to download the software in your system and by using USB cable you can also view the output of the particular Android application but I suggest you to go with AI companion if you have a Wi-Fi connection and emulator is which takes a lot of time for the execution of the particular program and if at all you have the blue stacks installed in your system you can build it to your computer so just go to build and click on app save dot apk dot to my computer and your app will be compiled and the download will be started in your computer the application is downloaded to the computer you can check it by in your android mobile phones or through bluestacks i have downloaded and installed the application into the bluestacks here you can find the android app we have done this is the default image or icon click on it yeah when this is the button when you click the button the next screen should be open is or aim just click on the button and here it is the next screen has been opened and the label is hi this is include help tutorial if you find this video helpful do share it and thank you